Um, this week, the energy I feel is very kinetic and a little bit jarring for you guys. So I want you to just be a little bit careful and don't let your tempers get the best of you. And especially, um, I do see a lot of stressors here, both in the love department as well as the work, finance, career, friendship department as well. Um, because of that, I feel like this is not stereotypical um, Capricorn energy. So I feel like you're being tested. You're being pulled in different directions. You're dealing with people who are very, very spirited, possibly a lot of fire signs uh, that you're engaging in at work or even in the uh, relationship front. So Sagittarius, Aries or Leo or the energy that is coming in is very bold and very brazen. And so maintain your composure, okay? So we're going to talk about your love relationship first. Um, first of all, the, the two cards that really stood out for me here are the two sevens. We have the seven of swords and the seven of wands. I feel like you're dealing with or you embody this energy where you're stubbornly, stubbornly committing yourself to a course of action and your partner you know, constantly tells you, no, it's not the right way to go. And your partner is this person, the five of pentacles, as well as the high priestess. This is somebody with a lot of insight and wisdom. And they're telling you, you know, without infringing upon your free will, they're telling you, you might want to rethink that. You might want to do it the smart way rather than the hard way. You might not want to, you know, commit to that course of action. It seems devious or you shouldn't engage with those types of people because they are sneaky or, you know, conniving or untrustworthy. And I feel like you value your own independence, but a lot of the times you can be very, 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 very stubborn because... I feel for many of you, you like to test your limits. You like to know how much you can handle. And you like to also, you know, it's, it's sort of like a game to you just to see how much you can take on without breaking. So I feel like you're trying to assert your independence and you're trying to assert your capabilities, okay? You're trying to prove to other people that you know what you're doing, that you can do it, that you can handle it. And I feel like there might be conflict brewing between you and another person um, in a love relationship. And it's heavily work uh, life, finance life, family life, even elderly parents that are affecting the, the, the harmony and the passion and the chemistry in an existing relationship. It's almost like they're telling you, you know, don't commit to that course of action and you go against their advice. And so that can cause a little bit of a rift in a relationship. If you are dealing with a fire sign in particular, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, I feel almost like you guys have a very long history with one another. So I have all kinds of signs, but I'm seeing here fire, air, and um, earth signs, okay? So the, the problem is I feel like you guys have a long history with one another. And the Five of Pentacles in a love relationship reading, it's actually a really good card because it indicates commitment. It indicates two people through thick and thin, they're going to be together. They're going to suffer uh, through whatever, you know, trials and tribulations life kind of throws at them. They're committed to each other and they're going to rough it out through thick and thin. So this is a really good card that indicates you have somebody in your midst who's very dependable. You have had a long history with. You might have, um, you know, they, they were there for, for you from the start. Right. Like they were there when you were still um, trying to enter the work environment when you were working minimum wage. You went to school. They were there for you. And now you graduated. They're there for you. So I feel like there is a really deep rooted sense of responsibility that you have with another person because of the history and the time that you have spent with each other. You know each other ins and out. And you know each other on a very deep karmic soul level. And because of that, because they know you so well and you know them so well, um, I feel like there are things that they advise you on. And they're very wise and, you know, mature and just uh, insightful. And they give you advice as to what you should do. And I feel like time and time and time again, you might not have heeded their advice, even though it's very it's coming from the heart. And you did it 
a, a different way. So I definitely feel a lot of forgiveness that comes from the partner. And I feel a lot of understanding. It's almost like they know you so well, they can put themselves in your shoes and understand why you took the course of action that you did. And, and so I feel like they do forgive you, okay? I also feel for many of you, if you're dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and this can be a partner or somebody you're kind of interested in, um, there's some, if it's an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, there is some guilt and some shame as to how they treated you, as to how they handle the, the relationship. And I feel as if they want to come in with an apology, but they feel like you have moved on. They feel like you're with somebody else. And so they're not really extending that, you know, I'm sorry, um, I let me make it up to you. Even though they want to, they're keeping things very close to their chest. They have dealt with some guilt. So they might have um, done something that hurt you. They might have been uh, untruthful when it comes to, you know, the, the, the past or whatever history you have with them. I feel like it left a bitter taste in your mouth. I see many of you have definitely moved on. You've got somebody very stable and solid. Um, and even for those of you who are single right now, I'm sensing that, you know, you're, you've had enough, you, you're moving on from this, but the other person is racked with guilt. So if you have dealt with an air sign that did you wrong in the past, I feel like they're racked with guilt. They really want to reach out and give you that apology, not to reconnect and reconcile, but I feel like they have gone on their own journey. They have grown as a result of it. They're why older and wiser and more insightful and they're they've reached a space where they're like looking back on that situation and they're like that Capricorn person has been there for me through thick and thin I, I I messed up a really really good thing and so if you have been waiting for that apology I feel like you know it's going to be coming and then spiritually I feel like your message here your spiritual advice is they are sorry they messed up a good thing and it took them a really long time to get to this state where they feel like, you know, they, they're admitting it to themselves. I wish I could have done something different. I wish I could take back that action or those words. And I wish that I, you know, had the self-awareness that I did back then to not make the same mistakes or to rectify the situation or to, you know, hold on to that Capricorn person. So I feel like there was definitely um, a very strong karmic connection and I feel like it has ended and you were expecting an apology and just know that you know if it's any consolation if it helps you guys move on then there's definitely that apology going to be coming through okay for those who are singles um, it's a good week overall for you to focus on other things because the way the spread is laid out I just feel like you have you you're around people that have their own emotional hangups that they need to sort through. They might have financial instability in their own life and they're trying to, you know, date and things like that to distract themselves from this reality. You might also be around very coercive, domineering, and just um, people that like to, you know, pick fights. Like they, um, the, the communication doesn't jive very well. You say one thing and they're like, oh, I don't like that one thing. And, and they're very strongly opinionated, but in a way where it's not very harmonious. So the energy for this week, if you're meeting new people, I feel like they're a little bit more combative, okay? I don't see a lot of passion in chemistry in general. I do feel like if you're single, you've got a few people. None of them uh, really stand out, okay? I feel like you you have the insight and the wisdom, and you're just like, these might not be the, the right people for me to date because it seems like they haven't gotten their act together or their life is not very stable. So I don't really want to, um, you know, scatter my energy with them or, or down those avenues that don't really lead to anything long term. So I see you being a little bit more single. And I, I also feel as well that you're focusing on somebody who is going to be a lot more committed, a lot more like willing to stick with you through thick and thin. Because the other options, it feels like when the going gets rough, they run for the hills. They're not the ones that stick around, okay? Um, in the other areas of your life as well, I, I see there are some issues coming in. 
And the message I'm getting with the second spread here is slow down and do things the right way. Okay, and um, the words I'm hearing is um, you have to kind of like start um, doing that. So you know how when um, birds try to fly, like especially baby birds, they kind of run a little bit and then they, they reach that point and then they spread their wings and then they soar. So it's sort of like you're trying to soar. You're trying to get some things off the ground. You're trying to really, really hard. And you're encountering a major blockage here. And you're trying a different strategy We're here with the Knight of Swords, strategizing, charging ahead, energetically wanting something really, really bad. And we feel like through the sheer strength of our determination and stick to it ifness, then we're going to be able to achieve it. And yet you're encountering opposition as well. So it's like no matter where you approach it from different angles, uh, from reverse, like no matter how you approach a specific problem, there are always constraints. Okay, so for some of you, it could be a work problem, like a, a dilemma at work. You're trying to advance ahead and you have been really, really helpful trying to put your name out there, right? And you're still encountering some type of uh, blockage. And then for others of you, uh, you volunteer for a lot of uh, extra duties. You volunteer to do a lot of extra work. And then when it comes to that promotion, they pass over. They pass you over and they choose somebody else. And I feel for some of you, this is a card about somebody that's been around the block. They have a, collected a lot of experience. In the reverse position, um, they have been around a lot and they have collected a lot of experience. And so when a, an employer looks at this, they're like, this is not somebody that stays in one place for too long. You know, do we really want to promote them to that senior position if they're not going to stick around? So I feel like for some of you, this, while it's good, it can really be hurtful to your credibility. And then for others, it could be the reverse, where they're looking for somebody with a, a lot of diverse experience. And then they look at your resume, and many of you, you stay in a job for a very, very long time, majority of you. We have other exceptions, but majority of Earth signs tend to stay and stay and stay and stay in a, a, a job for a long time. So you might not have that diversity in your background that they're really looking for. And so that might, it, it has nothing to do with your skills, but they're looking for somebody who's a little bit more versatile. And so if you are trying to promote yourself, you're putting your name out there, really emphasize and stress the fact that you have a lot of experience in other ways, rather than, you know, uh, having working in many, many different locations and companies, you can stress all the things that you've learned and that would carry the same weight, okay? So if you're trying to impress higher-ups, if you're trying to grab projects, I feel like it's a little bit of a competitive week where other people might steal your thunder or they might, um, they might like be so dynamic that they, they, they boast or, you know, um, fluff up a lot about themselves. And I feel like that's going to, um, it allows them to kind of like, Get the limelight, and then the limelight is off of you when you need the limelight on you. I also feel as well, uh, this combination here, this is like false friendships. Uh, somebody coming in and, you know, trying to, and you're very good at figuring this out too. When po people come to you and they're very insincere, you like to play around with them, right? Like you like to be like, to, to indulge and entertain them just so you have an idea of what it is that they are sneakily trying to extract from you. So I feel like this is um, the week where that same energy is going to be coming in. False friends. People coming in and they're like, you know, trying to make small talk with you when they should just cut to the chase and be like, you know, I need help with this. Can you help me? But instead they're like, hey, how was your weekend? How's, you know, the, the house? How's your dog? How's your girlfriend, boyfriend? How are the parents? Well, here's what I need from you. So I feel like you, you have that coming in. So if you feel like somebody is being insincere or they're being very indirect about what they're looking for or what they want from you, um, I see you, you know, being smart about it and kind of shutting down. Just be like, oh, I'm really busy right now. Can we have this conversation later? Or you're just very brusque with them like, oh, I'm very busy right now. So let me just... Um, 
um, everything is fine in my life. How about yours? And then, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then just be like, oh, I'm really busy. I can't really help you. So I feel like people are coming in, taking advantage of this, you know, goodwill. So just be a little bit careful about that. Okay. Shut it down early so that you don't have to deal with it. All right. Um, be careful. Be very, very careful about intellectual property theft. Um, taking your ideas or asking how you would solve a specific problem or how you feel about a certain thing. And then they take what you say and make it theirs. Okay. So I, I feel like you kind of need to hold back a little bit. Um, I feel like this is work coworkers. I also feel a very strong family vibe here with the Hierophant, a lot of uh, masculine energy, possibly somebody needing, uh, facing like financial hardships and they need you to help them. Somebody might be, you know, uh, asking you, hey, can you babysit my kids last minute? And it's like a family. So that's also a possibility. OK, um, either way, take it easy this week, uh, Capricorns. I feel like not the best week. OK, but um, the energy is. It's like coming through from other people, not so much from you. Focus on you. OK, focus on you. Pull back your energy. All right. I hope the reading is helpful. And hopefully, you know, next week this would clear up and then we can move on to uh, better energies. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.